My name is Adam Cohen and this is where dreams really do come true. That statement is especially true on this episode because we have three very lovely bachelorettes competing for true love with our contestant Alex from the suburbs of Chicago, Illinois. And next time on The Dating Game, we will follow them as they embark on their journey of love. Ooh, okay. So, without further ado, let's have our bachelorettes introduce themselves and then we'll bring our contestant in. Ladies? Um, I'm Lucy from Bethesda, Maryland. I'm Callie from Clinton Corners, New York. I'm Nina from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thank you, ladies. And now, let's bring in Alex from the suburbs of Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> bring them on in. I know you're blindfolded. It's all right. You'll find us. Oh, there you go. You feel the lights? Good. Come on in. Yes, well, I welcome you with open arms. I welcome you. <laughs> Hold my hand. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Rima, our lovely assistant. Um, do you like to take the blindfold off? You don't have to. Yeah, I might advise it. Yes, I would love that. Okay, so go ahead. Great. It is a free country, after all. You know. Okay, you also don't have to look like you're in Western. That's good. All right, let's get this off you. And, oh, they tied that tight. All right. And there we go. You're free. Wonderful. How are you doing today? Wonderful. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, so these are yours. These are some questions you can ask our uh, lovely bachelorettes who are waiting to uh, potentially find true love with you. And uh, whenever you're ready, uh, you can go ahead and ask the group uh, their first question. Okay, so the first question is, we're locked inside a Walmart for the night. What do you do first? Ooh, okay. Let's hear from bachelorette number one, please. The one closest to the teddy bear. Uh, first things first, stock up on some delicious snacks to keep us uh, fed and <laughs> fed throughout the night. Yeah. Gotta feed the hungry man, that's for sure. You gotta make sure he's well fed and, and so she's trying to do that. I mean, do you like that response? Or? Yeah, I'm glad she's thinking of my best interest and definitely wants to take care of me. Okay, great. And bachelorette number two, in the middle. Um, I would say first you gotta find a kiddie pool and fill it up. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> what, what, do you, what usually comes to mind when you think kiddie pool? I think a spa. That's A spa? Yeah. Oh, so relaxing in the kiddie pool. That's how I like to do it in style. Um, so bachelorette number three. I'd probably go over to the camping section and get a tent. Mm. At least three person because two is too small, but fill it with blankets so that we, it'll be nice and cozy. A cozy pitching of the tent. What are your thoughts? I'm all for it. So. You're all for yeah. it? Are you the adventurous type? Yeah, I can be, can be very outdoorsy at times. Yeah, so actually while we're talking about you, you tell me a little more about yourself. Or what year are you? What are you thinking of majoring in? That kind of stuff. And they'll kind of hear as well. Okay, so I'm a junior and I'm in the business school studying accounting and finance. Okay. It's great. I love it. Awesome, awesome. Okay, a businessman. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next question. Okay. So, who's this for? Uh, this is for bachelorette number three. Okay, so the question is, if you were a Prince Charming, what Disney princess would, save, would you save and why? I would definitely say Princess Jasmine because, um, well, she wouldn't need saving because she's an independent woman. But I would save her because we'd have a great time on the magic carpet. I can show you the world. <laughs> Will, would you like to show her the world like Aladdin did in, in Aladdin? I would just hope that she can show me the world. Oh, Actually, great response. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay, great. Let's move on to the next question for Bachelorette number two. Okay. This is kind of more of a command than a question, but I would love for you to make me a sick drum beat right now. <laughs> Bachelorette number two. Let's hear the drum beat. Music to my ears. I oh, I love it. Yes, the music to all our ears. I felt it. The studio audience clearly kind of felt it. Um, <laughs> they gave a nice half clap. That was good. All right, let's move on to the next question for uh, Bachelorette number one. Okay, so what is your best body part? My best body part um, would have to be hmm, my hair because I just got a cut and it looks cool. <laughs> I like it. She keeps herself. Clean, trimmed, good sign, right? Yeah, like a nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess there are some unintended consequences of what I just said, but we're focusing on the hair. So let's move on to the next question. Uh, do we have any more? Yes, the next question is if you were a mythical creature, who would you be? 
and why. All right, we're going to go through all of you. Let's start with Bachelorette number two. Um, I would be Pegasus because I think it would be really cool to fly, and also I really like horses. Another one who wants to go on a magical ride, maybe. All right. And uh, <laughs> Bachelorette number three? I'd be the Kraken. <laughs> that'd be sweet for it to be the one that says release, like the person that's released when they, they release the Kraken. Okay, so she wants to release the Kraken. Are, are you, can you, be, can you be her Kraken? I can certainly be released. I'm not super familiar with what the Kraken is. It's like this large, like, tentacly, like, mythical creature that, like, comes out of the water and just, and you'll watch it. I'm, I'm all for okay, it. Okay, cool. Okay, good, good, good. You're all for the tentacles? Yeah, or absolutely. Or they're, like, coming out of the water park? And is there one that's, you know, I think the tentacles really... The tentacles, yeah. you want to reach out and grab things? Okay, cool. And, uh, Bassaret number one. Uh, a unicorn, hands down, because they're magical and awesome. Awesome. A unicorn with its hands on the ground. Uh, oh, is that not what you went down? <laughs> uh, anyways, so, great. So, go ahead and try one more. Okay, the last question is... If we were trapped on a desert island together, how would you entertain me? All right, let's go down the line. Bachelorette number one. Um, well, I would bring lots of books so we could read and then have a cool conversation about those books. And we have the sea, so we could just like hang out on the beach and swim a lot. Nature and the intellect. A <laughs> combo? I love a good swim, so. Awesome. All right, Bachelorette number two. Um, I think we could go fishing and then we could make dinner together and have a romantic island dinner date. This is getting so cute. I can't even stand it. All right, that's right, number three. Um, I would want to build a sandcastle together because um, it takes a long time, especially when the waves keep crashing it down. So hopefully that would take a lot of time and we could bond over that. Childhood memories of sandcastles being squashed are just filling me right now. What about you? I was never one to build too many sandcastles. Oh, but okay. I, okay. I, try, I try not to get too sandy. Okay, mm -hmm. tries not to get too sandy. But let's see. Who are you thinking of picking at this point? Is the sandiness a problem? Are you going for more adventure, intellect? What are you thinking? Which, uh, which bachelorette would you like to uh, choose here? I think bachelorette number two. I think All right. I'm a big fan of seafood, so not as much fishing, but could enjoy some salmon. Awesome. All right. Maybe they'll enjoy some salmon. Bachelorette number two, go ahead and stand up. Alex, go ahead and do the bachelorette. Oh, they're hugging that so cute. My name's Adam Cohen. Thank you again for watching Wood TV Dating Game. We'll see you next time. Let's see what happens to these guys. At last, my love has come along. My lonely days are over.